Welcome again to ITSC 2309. In this module we will look at re-entering Oracle 11G after you have created it. Once again, note as with any new software, it is important to explore the software and learn its features and become familiar with its functions and capabilities. So you can, you know, play with this thing, work with it. We'll begin with selecting Oracle 11G Express. Uh, once you do that, you should be able to get this on your screen. We will select the application Express. We will log on to the Oracle 11G Express scenario. Now, notice that we're using the system to log into. Once again, there are many layers within Oracle that you can log on to. You can log on to the area that uses the operation, the management, or the maintenance portion. Uh, in this 11G Express, because it's kind of encapsulated, we, one size fits all scenario, so we'll be using the system to work with it. Once you do that, you get to this point, and if you look there, you will see where it says log in here. Since you have already created your account, we will use your account to get in to the process you have established. Now, in previous versions, I had used ITSC 2309. Uh, my recommendation would be to add your user uh, name to this or your email address to this. That will facilitate the process when you print stuff out and hand it in. Uh, if everyone uses ITSC 2309, sometimes it becomes difficult to differentiate between all the students. Uh, and then you wind up with credit issues because I can't figure out who's who and what's what. So try to have your name on, or your user ID on all documents as this process goes on. It makes it a whole lot easier instead of having you say, well, I didn't get credit. And I'm going to say, I don't have anything with your name on it. So let us continue with this. Uh, at this point, once you log on, you'll have the ability to re-enter the SQL workshop. This is where we're going to be doing most of the work in this little icon window. Once again, once you get into that, you'll be able to see the tables that were most recently created. In this case, you should see some significance or some representation of others, customer, items, stock, and manufacturer. And as we continue with this point in the workshop, this is basically your SQL command prompt. At this point, you should be able to start writing in your SQL code to be able to see what's going on. If you see up at the top, you have that looks like an eraser right next to it. It looks like a flashlight. If you use that item, that icon, you should be able to see the tables that you have created. You should be able to see the customer table, the items table, the manufacturer table, the orders and the stock. Now, depending on how many screens you have to get through, it may take a couple to kind of work your process. At this point, you should be able to use your SQL scenario. Uh, the shortest way to do this is do select star from customer, and you should see the output from customer at the bottom. If this works, follow this for the rest of the tables, and that should uh, complete this process for your lab work and this should be a good starting point where you should be able to complete all your labs. This completes this module.